Hello, Cosmic Explorers! Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the mysteries of the universe and beyond. Today we're honored to share incredible insights from the renowned Andromedan contactee Alex Collier. But before we get started, if you're passionate about expanding your cosmic consciousness and discovering the universe's secrets, hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon, and give this video a thumbs up. This helps us reach more truth seekers like you. Also, remember that we host a live webinar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to visit the link in the description for more information. But for now, here's today's video. Hi, Alex. Is our soul group made of one dimension? Or does our soul group have a little of all dimensions? That's, that's a really, really good question, Stephanie. That's a really good question. The fact that we have all had multiple lives, starting at the highest level or point of creation, and have had physical, physical lifetimes on the way down and on the way back up. I mean, who knows how many lifetimes we've all have actually had in a 21 trillion year old uh, universe, 21 trillion in our time. As we count time, I, I would think that the residue of all the dimensions can be found in all the dimensions. There would obviously be a predominant band of frequencies that dictate the physicality of that dimension. But I would think as the souls come in and pass through, let's say you, you were at six, then you came in and you had several lifetimes in five, and then you got really wild, totally threw caution to the wind, and you came to Earth, the Wild West, and you had a hundred lifetimes here because you got stuck, I would think the residue of those other experiences and frequencies would be left here, not only with you, but your DNA strand of lineage that came behind you. It would also be contained therein as well, because it's all energy and energy never dies. It never dissipates. It just changes. It never goes away. So, uh, I mean, some of us are walking around with fifth density consciousness already. So clearly it, it exists here. You know, the higher frequencies exist here and can. It's the physicality that's limited because it's bound to a, a band of frequencies. And until that changes, um, then the physicality changes, but the consciousness can, can still elevate itself because it's consciousness, it's just pure energy, it's spirit. It's your connection to source. That's how I understand it. That's how it works from what I've been told over the years. You know, many of the A's, the children born there now, have seventh and eighth density consciousness. They can communicate with beings on those frequencies, on those physical realms, as if it's nothing. but they would need technology in order to exist there. But it's my understanding that if you're fifth, you can only go to sixth. They don't have the technology to take you from sixth to seventh or go from five to seventh. That technology doesn't exist. It's too much for the physical body to, to deal with. 
um, because what happens is is that there's more bands of frequency the higher you go. And what happens is, is that your physicality would need to take up more space. And apparently that's an issue for a physical body. You know, it can it can adjust some, but it can't go from from here. It can go from here to maybe here, but it can't go to this without just being gone. The physical form, I mean. So there are limitations to the physicalities of the dimensions. Um, and I mean, that makes sense if, if you're here to to experience each physical form uh, and gain knowledge from it and experience. It makes sense. Otherwise, you wouldn't need the dimensional boundaries. You know, it would just be the whole thing would be wide open. It'd be a free for all, you know, pretty much. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the cosmos. We hope Alex Collier's insights have inspired you to look beyond the ordinary and embrace the extraordinary. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We do read all the comments. Your feedback helps us create better content and brings us closer as a community of truth seekers. Together we can make a difference. Let's spread the light, expand our consciousness, and continue exploring the wonders of the universe. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up. If you would like to see the Andromedan contactee Alex Collier live via video stream, we hold a live online seminar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information on upcoming live webinars, please visit alexcollier.org.